This was the most painful part of the story. This was the most painful part of the story. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. And this word is coming to us from Matthew chapter 26, verse 56. And the B part of that scripture says, All the disciples deserted him. New Bible translation said, All the disciples abandoned him. And we are commemorating the resurrection of Christ. We are celebrating the resurrection of Christ. And one thing that got to me was that at the point when Jesus needed his disciples the most, no one was there. No one was there. Of course, there were some few people that were there. When you read the other Bible Gospels, they, they, you, you realize that John, Mary, and Mary, Mary the mother of Jesus, and Mary Magdalene were there. But Matthew couldn't know that because he himself was not there. He deserted Jesus, so he thought everyone deserted like him. But out of everyone, and I'm asking myself, I, I, I did this during, the, I, I taught this during the live sessions, but many of us are not there. I felt led to share with someone. I'm asking myself, where are the 5,000 men that he fed with bread, with bread and fish? Where are the 4,000 that he later on still fed with bread and fish? Not counting the women and the children. Where is Bartimaeus, the man at the pool of Bethesda, the woman with the issue of blood? Where are all these people that he ministered to? The people he raised from the dead. Where is Lazarus for God's sake? Where is Lazarus who was dead and buried for four days, but yet God raised him from the, Jesus raised him from the dead. Now that he's going through this kind of ordeal, Lazarus is not there to walk with him, to even give him like you can turn and see someone that you trusted. Where are the people he invested three and a half years of his life where is Peter, who is supposed to be the foundation? Yes, he denied him three times. And when the cock crew, he realized that the prophecy that was given to him was fulfilled. Why didn't he come back to say, I just realized it. I messed up. I know him. I am one of them truly. I am one of them. I know this man. Where was Peter? The rock upon which the church would be built. Where were the other 11? Let's forget Judas. Where were the other 11? Where were the sons of Zebedee that wanted to sit one at his right hand and, and the other at his left hand? They even claimed that they were ready to drink of the cup that he was about to drink. Where were they in a time like this? Where was Mary and Martha, the one that Jesus loved and Jesus visited them severally? Where was everyone? Where were the people, the disciples that he spent three and a half years of his life teaching them, ministering to them? Where were they when Jesus needed them the most? The lessons I learned from this story, the first lesson I learned from this story is don't be carried away by those who hail you and celebrate you when they're going is fine because they are never they just better celebrate those who are able to stand with you during the difficult times don't get carried away because someone said i will be with you people say what they don't mean the second lesson that i learned is that sometimes it's necessary for you to go through the cross experience. Sometimes it's necessary for your back to be on the ground because only then can you know who truly is with you because otherwise you might be thinking that you have people walking with you whereas you are all, you are all alone. So sometimes we need those down moments so that they can be able to, to show us precisely who is with us and who is not with us. I learned these lessons. Never 
get carried away by those who celebrate you. They can leave you at any moment. Never get carried away by those who hail you. They can, they can leave you at any moment. And the next lesson I learned is the journey to fulfill your purpose will get lonely sometimes. You've got to learn how to pray for yourself. You've got to learn how to stand even when people are against you. You've got to learn how to still carry on, how to trust God. It's going to get lonely at some point. The journey to purpose fulfillment will get lonely at some point. These are just a few of the lessons that I learned from this passage and from the story of Jesus. God bless you. Shalom.